Hello again, everyone. Scoons Comics here with another exciting, oh so thrilling, comic book haul. Yes. Hello. How is everybody doing? <sighs> I got some books, people. I got some books. I got this stack of books. Crazy, right? Uh, this is a result of <laughs> the majority is from half price books because I live at half price books. I got lucky. Um, I got lucky last Sunday, um, went there to see what they had, of course, stopped by. Nothing, 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 nothing. Then as I'm heading out the door, I see the young lady that is the one that puts the comics out normally. She's going through two long boxes. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. And it's all, it's all over the place, man. It's, it's unbagged and boarded for the most part. And there were some nice gems in there, but as always is my problem at half price. I have to decide what I'm going to pull out because and and because she's going to price check these, but she always claims she is. And her price is all over the place, man. Some stuff will always hit the shelves for a dollar fifty. That should not be a dollar fifty. It should be much more than that. And then there's other books that she'll just throw. Five, ten, twenty, forty dollar price tags on that are nothing. That are nothing. And I'm like, what are you, what are you looking at? How is this happening? But anyway, so I, so I gave her a stack, and in order to, um, the only ones she price checked were the two that I just kind of threw in there just cause. I was like, well, I kind of like these, and the more I get, I figured the more likely she is just to give me the dollar fifty rate that they all are. It's almost two, two minutes into this, and I haven't shown a comic book yet. So I guess I should probably show a comic book. So, we have The Return of Dr. Fate. I like Dr. Fate. It's not a character I know a ton about. I have none of the miniseries. So, I've always enjoyed Dr. Fate in Justice League books. So I was happy to pick this up. Uh, J.M. DeMattis wrote this, so I was happy to pick this up. But she was going to price check this one. She's like, this one might be worth something. I was like, no. But anyway, that's fine. And then they had uh, another Doctor Fate mini series right here, first issue. So first issue of both of those. I was like, okay, that's cool. Then I picked this up solely for the cover. I just love Sam Keith and this uh, Joker, especially Detective Comics Annual Number Five from 1992. Look at that Joker. Look at that face. Oh, that's great. So this isn't a key, nothing real special about this, but pretty cover. Speaking of pretty covers, this one's my favorite, and I have this book, but this is a definite condition upgrade for me. So I will throw this in my Death and Return of Superman set. Superman number 76, newsstand edition. Gorgeous Dan Jurgens cover. I love this cover so much. I have an autographed copy of this. It's, it's just wonderful. So happy to pick this up for a buck fifty. Then they had, so this person was a DC collector by and large. So they had the first 12, no, they had almost the first 12 issues of this title. And I wanted it, man, because I have not read this before. All-Star Squadron, number one. I have another copy of one somewhere, but that's, it's a rough shape. So this was a nice condition upgrade for me. I love the history of DC, and I love Roy Thomas when he tackles that subject matter. I think he does a great job. It's clear he loves these characters, and that just comes out on these pages. So, picked up issue one, and issue two. I don't think any of these are keys. I'm sure there's probably some first appearances in here. Issue three. But I will have to look. I haven't read beyond the first issue yet. Issue four. I'm way behind in reading, and I'm trying to catch up, but I just keep buying more stuff, so what are you going to do? Issue 5. Beautiful covers. Issue 6. <laughs> Never step on a feathered serpent is the tagline up there. Good advice. And number 7. Which one do I have? Okay, number eight. Number nine. Number ten. No, number ten. There's no number ten. Skip to eleven. That hurts me. 
Great Joe Kubert cover here. And number 12. So that's a series I've always wanted to pick up if I could find it cheap and a buck fifty each. That was that was a good deal for me. Then, okay, here was the big run of books that I was so excited to get. Because I have a few of these. I don't have the big keys in this run. I didn't have the big keys in this run until now. And I thought she was going to price check me on these, but she did not. So, Crisis on Infinite Earths, number one. I love this series. I have this trade paperback, but I love the actual issues. Having the floppies is so much fun. I've gone through these and read some of the, the editor notes from Marv Wolfman. It's so interesting. So, this is DC history, man. So, issue one. Gorgeous George Perez art, of course. Issue two. So I'm seeing this and I'm thumbing through and I'm like, oh, has this got the whole thing? Issue three is a little dirty. See that? I gotta clean that up if I can. Issue three and issue four. This is all not bagged and boarded, just doesn't there loose. Issue five, six. We're getting to the bigger stuff. Here's an issue I've wanted forever, and I just never pulled the trigger, so I'm so happy to have this. Issue 7, with this iconic, iconic cover. Look at that. This is actually the big poster behind me here. I have this gorgeous print of uh, George Perez pencil art that Alex Ross went over and painted. I love it. So good. One of these days, if you haven't seen that print, look it up online. It's so detailed and wonderful, but there is the central image from that. And then issue 8. Death of Barry Allen. Issue 9. God, George Perez, man. God bless him. Miss him. So many characters in a cover. Look at that. He just took pride in it, man. He was amazing. The amount of characters and detail he could put in his work. Issue 10. I'm going to draw like this. And issue 11. Nah, I'll better like this. Issue 11. And 12. Yeah, buddy. So that was a really exciting series to pick up. And then they had, I have, this is probably my ninth copy of this book, but Newsstand Edition, I wasn't going to pass it up for $1.50. Man of Steel, number 18, Newsstand Edition. First appearance of Doomsday. Awesome. All right, in these next few books, I got four more books to show. These are all eBay goodies, okay? So, I have wanted this book for a while, DC Universe book, and people want money for it. People want 40, 50, 60 bucks, and I'm never willing to do that. I found this one mislabeled. Well, they didn't, I just don't think they knew what they had. This was only going for $8 on eBay, and I snatched it up. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego number one? DC Universe logo variant. Very cool. Very excited to have this. I never see this book in regular style at a comic show ever. So to have this was very cool to get. I was so happy to pick this up online. And then, you know, everyone's making their lists right now. What they want to get in 2023. People have uh, collects very specific collecting goals as far as usually it's like 10 issues they want to get in this in this year. I never really do that. I always think about it, and there's obviously issues you want, but I'm always just trying to keep my mind open, my eyes open for just everything, because I want everything. But I felt my collection was really lacking in some, some very key things. I had, I had no Captain Marvel from the Golden Age of Comics, and I felt any collection worth its salt should have some Captain Marvel in it from, from the 40s. So I went online and I found a pretty comic from 1948, I believe. Captain Marvel Adventures number 87. Look at that guy. Got this for like a tank of gas. Um, it's, it's, it's a little rough, but it's such a cool cover. Like, check it out. So you got, this to me is what the comic totally is, right? So you got Billy Batson. Bad guy's going to get him. Ha <laughs> ha. Shazam. Boom! Dex the bad guy. He's Captain Marvel now. Oh my gosh. Wish fulfillment for a young boy. Yay! So that's exciting. I was very happy to get this. It's a little beat up. I need to try to clean it up. 
but the colors still look great and it presents really well. So happy to have my first Captain Marvel book in my collection. And then, so I, I think I mentioned in the last video or the video before how I, I like to look up what's ending soon on eBay and hope that I can just find some random gems. And I was just looking for Golden Age books and I found a seller that just listed two books and just said Golden Age comics. Didn't list what they were at all. But I saw from the picture one of these was something that I really wanted in my collection and this was dirt cheap and I bid and I won and it's mine. So here's the issue I didn't care about. Uh, John Law Sky Ranger number two. I think it's like 1955 maybe. It's completely roached. It's completely beat up. Got some really major damage here. This is something I'll practice like cleaning probably, pressing once I get a press. Fingers crossed. But the book I wanted, and this has some bad foxing, but it's still, it's still really pretty. I put this on my Instagram for those of you that follow me on Instagram, Schoon's Comics. All Famous Police Cases, number 14. Gorgeous L.B. Cole cover. L.B. Cole is, for those of you who don't know, L.B. Cole does these beautiful, well, did these beautiful painted covers in the 50s, right, by and large. And they're for random, random books. Uh, police comics here. He does a bunch of funny animal ones. But they're gorgeous. Look at the colors. And they're always signed. So he's got his L.B. Cole right there. So I saw this and I was like, that's an L.B. Cole book. And it's beat up. It's got really bad foxing, which I'm going to have to try to take care of. But these colors still look so good. And this is what I needed in my collection. I didn't have any L.B. Cole covers in my collection until now. So in one week, I knocked out, for my collection, I now have a Captain Marvel, Golden Age, and an L.B. Cole. Ha ha! That's kind of terrifying, wasn't it? Anyway. Oh, that's great. Look how pretty. That's great. So my other collecting goals for the year is I really need to get, I want a Superman from the Golden Age. I'd like an action comics from the 40s. I, I don't have any, so I'd like to find one. Those are very pricey. I'll have to do some hunting, see if I can find a deal somewhere, because I sure can't spend what they go for. I'd like to get a Batman or Detective comics from the 40s. And I'd like to get some more timely from uh, the 40s. So we'll see. But that's all I got for now. My dog is barking. Probably someone at my door. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.